I'm Chad and welcome to a beautiful Southern California day. Got a break from some intense heat we've been having. It's down in the low 70s right now and it feels amazing. So in today's video, as the title has suggested, I will be explaining how Aprilia traction control and really how most OEM motorcycle traction control systems work. So as with most manufacturer branded ride control systems, Aprilia traction control or ATC is a component of Aprilia Performance Ride Control, or APRC. Now each manufacturer will typically have their own branding and nomenclature for their electronic rider aid systems, but in reality they all serve the same purpose. So to begin, let's take a moment to get familiar with the technological components on this motorcycle that make traction control possible. Starting with the ride-by-wire throttle system. So the Tuono V4 does not have steel cables running from the throttle tube down to the throttle bodies. It instead has a position sensor on the throttle tube and electrical wiring that runs back to a wiring harness that connects to the ECU. And from the ECU back to the wiring harness, there is an electrical connection to the servo motor on the actual throttle bodies. So when you open the throttle like this, it sends an electrical signal through that wiring and harness to the ECU, notifying the ECU that you want the throttle bodies to open at X percentage. And that in turn commands the ECU to send that signal to the servo motor of the throttle bodies, opening them accordingly. Thus letting air in to mix with fuel to go boom and make horsepower and torque. So one of the cool things about this ride-by-wire throttle system is because ultimately the throttle bodies themselves are governed by the ECU, the ECU can override your inputs when you're making mistakes or when you're putting the motorcycle in a state that is outside of the preset parameters of the traction control system. So there are a few other components that play into traction control. These include the wheel speed sensors. This motorcycle has a wheel speed sensor on the front wheel and another one at the rear wheel, constantly measuring the rotational speeds of each wheel, looking for variance between these two speeds. This bike also has a six axis inertial measurement unit that detects roll or lean angle, pitch, downward and upward direction, and yaw or basically the direction that you are traveling left or right. All of these sensors provide data to the ECU and to Aprilia Performance Ride Control and determine based on the settings that you choose when the system needs to intervene to correct an anomaly, such as a rear end slide. In practice, it goes something like this. You go through a corner and you're about to get back on the gas, stand the bike up and drive out of the corner. But you open the throttle a little bit too quickly or a little too much, causing the rear wheel to lose traction. Now, the bike knows a few different things here. It knows your throttle position, the speed of the engine, the load of the engine, the speed at which you are traveling, the gear position that you are in, and all of these obviously are sensors that the bike has that I neglected to mention earlier, but they're there as you can see on the dash. But it also knows your lean angle and your yaw and your pitch. So it can determine, hey, the rear wheel is starting to slide. The bike is getting a little bit out of control. We don't want to crash. Let's adjust the throttle position a bit and change the ignition timing so as to reduce power to the degree where we can regain traction. So without you having to lift a finger, the bike changes the ignition timing and or closes the throttle body slightly, reducing the power that the engine is producing, but doesn't cut it entirely because that would be bad and probably create even more problems. But it adjusts the power output just enough so that the rear wheel can regain traction, you can continue to accelerate without getting all out of control and slipping and sliding around too much anyways. Uh, 
So one of the cool things about Aprilia traction control and basically all other motorcycle traction control systems is they have a degree of adjustability. Aprilia traction control, for example, has eight different levels of intervention and you can disable the system entirely. And you can even do this on the fly with the bike rolling. I'm gonna press one of the buttons to increase traction control. See it start to flash there in the left-hand side of the screen. I can go up again if I want to, or I can turn it down if I want to. And this is accomplished via two buttons on the left handlebar switch set. There is a plus button that you can hit with your thumb that increases the level of traction control, and a minus button that you can press with your index finger. So the higher the number or the higher the setting, the more invasive the traction control system will be. So eight, for example, will give you basically no slip at all before the system starts to reduce power, whereas one will let you slide quite a bit before it steps in to give you any kind of assistance. So pretty cool. And especially with more modern motorcycles, most traction control systems will work exactly the same way that this one does. But the difference can be in just the sophistication of the hardware on the bike, as well as the firmware and software that goes into commanding traction control, which is why you'll have some bikes that have traction control that's a little bit better than others. It really just all depends on development, how much money the manufacturer is willing to spend and how much research they've been able to do. But again, generally, they all use these same sensors or some variations of them, use the same data and yield the same outcome. And that is how Aprilia traction control and other motorcycle traction control systems work. And with that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and enjoyed learning about the Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory, mine being a 2017 model year, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a gentle little click of the like button. Also, if this was informative for other types of motorcycles, because again, all these traction control systems with small exceptions and variations generally work the same. If you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. I upload weekly. I'm also an amateur motorcycle racer running my 2012 Triumph Daytona 675R race bike. Just went racing last week, so go to my channel and check out the videos recapping those events there, as well as for the races themselves. I also make content with my 2009 Yamaha WR250X Supermoto. I'm learning how to do wheelies on that, so check that out as well. If you are going to subscribe, turn those notifications on so you can be the first to know when I post a new video. And drop a comment below. Does your bike have a traction control system? Do you have any experience riding a bike with a traction control system? And what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, later.